It was just so cute. I can get you guys a closer look. Is that not so cute? Oh my gosh. babes Andrea here I'm excited to share with you something oh my god I, I am so out of practice <sighs> okay hey crafty babes welcome to another exclusive from me to you for the month of August I have some fun stuff for you and well I'm excited about it so I hope you're excited about it too okay I just wanted to go over I wanted to go over it because one of the, one of the printables is a DIY. So you're going to get a, a separate video outside of my normal, uh, exclusive video for you guys. So this is just going to accompany, you know, what we've got going on here for the month of August. First up to stick with the theme of for the record and this whole music theme that we did for the summer of 23 collection we are gonna make our own cassette tapes I'm so excited so I have basically given you the anatomy of a cassette tape so these are all of the pieces with instructions and then you have the template so this is going to be you're gonna cut all this out I gave you a JPEG so that you can totally put it into your Cricut or your silhouette or whatever in order to cut it all out. But just if you're hand cutting it, just make sure you're cutting out the insides of things and you can punch the holes um, for these items. These I didn't, I just hand cut everything. So, but anyway, this is the DIY cassette tape. Uh, and we are going to go over like a little bit more. I'm going to do a, a shot down situation. Sorry. I feel like I've not talking to people in a long time. I definitely haven't made a video in a while. Um, I'm going to do a top down <laughs> look at how to assemble the cassette tape. In addition, uh, I have given you the, this large format alpha in all of the colors from the For the Record collection. I printed a few of the colors full size so look how big they are and I printed these all on sticker paper because they're just a little easier to fussy cut um and so but the cool thing is if you can do this and I've talked about this before in a previous video is doing the side by side or printing them at 50% now mine does two on a page so I gave you an even amount and so I printed mine side by side so that I have two different sizes. Ah, if I can get to this one. So you got the pink, the blue, the oranges, and then I, I just did the the light color, um, the light color, the two light colors together. So this is the teal color, and this is the green. I didn't do the lighter versions of these two because they're very very light. Um, so and they're not the most prominent colors uh, of the collection so anyway you can print them however you want you can print them on cardstock if you want and of course i will give you the jpeg so that you can put them into your die cutting machine your digital digital die cutter um and cut them all out if you like put a little offset around them or something that would be cool too um but for me i just figured sticker paper is going to be the best way to go it's just going to give me the most um flexibility so I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to go look at my desk uh, and and I'll tell you the tools that you need and we will go through picking out some pattern paper to make our own cassette tape and it's going to be fun. So let's go make a project. Okay, let's talk about tools and things that we need. I will um, have those right here on this instruction sheet as well. We just really need like six things, okay, outside of printing the um, the papers that you want and printing out these two pages with the instructions and the templates. So we first need scissors and whatever adhesive that you like. 
I'm gonna put those aside. You need a hole punch. I use the We Are Memory Keepers one that has uh, multiple sizes because this little piece right here um, we'll use both the 1 8 and the 3 16 If you don't have this, it's really not a big deal. You can um, punch a hole using your um, X-Acto knife, which can be a helpful tool as well. Um, for me, I hand fussy cut these, so I just actually cut these um, circles and rectangles out of um, using my X-Acto knife, whereas I punched the holes um, out of these and then these I just hand cut with scissors and so you can use whatever tools you have and then of course if you're going to be using um, the exacto knife you just need some sort of flat surface that is cut resistant so those are the the tools the other thing that I'm going to use you don't have to do this but this is how I'm going to use this project is I am using an empty um, cassette tape case they actually, this is an old, this is an old one. This is actually from my husband's um, cassette tape stash. Shh, don't tell him that I have used this. This is off of one of his mixtapes. I don't know, from like 94 or something. I've, I don't know. Um, so it's a little beat up, but it's it's got a lot of character. Um, they actually do sell cassette tape cases on Amazon. So I will leave a link for that. They, they The ones that I've seen come in... Um, you know, like packs of 10 or packs of 25. So I just get whatever you, you want or go into your stash. Maybe you can even go to the thrift store and find a couple of cassette tapes and just grab them for the cases. Um, the other thing I did was I took some pliers and carefully removed the two little um, stoppers in here. They're like, you know, the little things that stick up that go inside the cassette um, holes. Um, just be very careful. They do pop off really, uh, not easily, but like when they, when you, they come off all at once and they will shoot <laughs> wherever. So what I did was I used my pliers and then kept this closed a little bit, popped them right off. And then it stayed contained in here. Um, so that way they don't go flying all over the place. Cause one of them did. And I'm just grateful that it didn't hit me in the eye. Um, because what we're going to do here for me in this project, I'm going to make a um, we're going to make the cassette tape with different pattern papers, and then I'm going to make little cards that fit inside. Um, this, the size of this actually fits right inside the cassette case. So the whole entire thing will fit right inside here. And then for each one of these, um, these are album covers that I screenshot from Spotify and then print it out. These are going to be each an individual card that is just going to essentially be, let's just say this is it, but it'll be like the album cover. And then I'll probably write a little bit like the songs from this album that I have on my summer playlist. And then I'm going to make one for each of them so that essentially then those will go all behind here and slip inside here. And it'll be one, you know, one big case, I guess, of all the different um, fun songs that are on my playlist for this summer. So it'll be like a little mini album that's contained inside of this case. Um, so the prep work that you might need to do is printing out some of the album covers of songs that you like or, you know, song covers or, or um, artists in, you know, the artists that you really like. You can print them however and however many that you want. Uh, I will, I will, uh, you know, you don't have to make this with me at this time. And you also don't have to do, um, the project the way that I'm doing it. But if you still want to create your own, um, your own custom cassette tape, that's what we're going to do today. And then you can do whatever you want with the rest of the project. I just wanted to share with you what I'm doing for it because I really wanted to make a summer playlist mini book in some way. Uh, and this is, this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, so let's get started. What you're going to want to do is print out the two uh, pages from this PDF. So this one's going to have the um, sample and instructions so that you can see the different pieces and how they might look together. So 
Personally, for me, I am going to keep this base layer the gray color because it kind of reminds me of one of the clear tapes. We all had the clear tapes that you could, you know, record off of the <laughs> radio. Um, and that just gives it a good base. And then you can see that this base layer or the inside layer, I'm sorry, is just a solid. So I might do that. And then I gave you the option of doing this front label, either a, a single piece or as I'm showing it here as two different patterns. So the top pattern could be different than the bottom pattern. And then this piece right here is the little bracket and that can be a totally different pattern as well. And of course you gotta cut out the tape cause it needs to have the tape layer under there. And then on here as well uh, is the name label. So right here you can choose to put, uh, like you can write summer mixtape here or, you know, favorite Taylor Swift songs, I don't know. Um, and you can make your own custom tape. So let's get started. The cutting out I have already done, but I printed a couple of, um, I printed a couple pieces. Well, one, cause I wanted to show you what the paper looked like too, but I wanted to make sure that everything fit the way that I had designed it and everything's great. But if you want, you could make a front and a back. If you're gonna make a, a mini book, let's say, you might wanna cover on the front and a cover on the back so that it kind of holds everything together. And that if you're using a clear case, then you'll be able to um, you know, see it from both ways. So I'm thinking that's what I want to do, uh, but I just want to decorate the front first and just make sure um, that I get that one done. And if I like the way that it looks, then I'll just recreate it. I'll just cut these out again and kind of duplicate it. And then I've got out a couple of extra sheets of just stuff that I might want to use. Of course, I've got my whole uh, for the record goodies here so I can still come in here and decorate with some of these smaller items. Uh, and the other cool thing about the way that I gave you some room on this is that if you don't, maybe you do this part as a solid paper and then you can do some stamping, you can do like a pattern. Uh, you can also like, where, where am I showing you this? On the the inside layer you could totally stamp here you know how like it'll say like a side or b side or how the length of it is like 90 minutes or something you could totally stamp like little hearts here or anything from your stamp stash or your die cut stash you can do little you know uh stickers or whatever you want i just wanted to give you guys a lot of freedom with this one so let's get started cutting out uh from the template. So what I think I want to do is I want, and I want to look at this as a, as a little sample. That's kind of why I gave you the sample. I wanted to put it together so that I could see what looked better. Um, and to me, what looked better was a base layer being, um, solid and the top layers being with the pattern. So I think that's what we're going to do here. And I like the idea of using the pink base because it's just, super cute. Who doesn't love pink? So we're going to start with that. So the inside layer I'm going to use, I'm going to actually trace on the back. I'm sorry, you need a pencil too. You're going to need a pencil. That should have been in my original tool list. I'll make sure that I put it down. So easy little template, straight lines everywhere. And again, if you do this on your die cut machine, um, It'll just, we'll just cut it all out for you. So from here, we're just going to make some straight cuts. Unfussy cut it first. <laughs> and this, of course, is not going to be perfect. It's going to have character. I want like maybe just a little bit more on that guy. Okay, so now we have the base layer 
and the inside layer. And you can check to see, like this looks like maybe I didn't cut enough down here. I want a little bit extra room. So you can always adjust it to your liking. Um, the template that I made, the first one that I made, which is this, this one, it is just a hair too big. So I have to go back and adjust it before I finalize everything for you girls. But that's much better. That just gives, I like the, the amount of, you know, white space on the outside. So it shows that base layer just a little bit better. Okay. Next up is the tape. We are not going to tape the tape layer to this just yet because it needs to line up with whatever you're going to do here. And so the best practice would be to tape the tape to the back of the label layer. Okay. So let's, let's figure out, I think I want that. I definitely want to use the teal and the hearts. And I think it would look better if I did the hearts on the top, maybe the pink flowers on the bottom layer, and then the teal on the bracket because, no, you know what? I'm going to do it opposite of that. I'm going to do opposite. I'm going to do the teal on top because that's going to look really good with the label on the front. And I think that I may have thrown away my label layer on accident because it's not sitting here. There it is. It's not sitting here on my desk and I remember cutting it out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the hearts is gonna be the brackets, the bracket, which will be great because then there's nothing really obstructing it. Uh, and you can, you'll be able to see all the hearts really well. So I'm actually gonna pop it up against the edge. So I have one less thing to cut. This is very rough. And then I will do the holes. shoot I don't didn't get a, as much teal as I wanted let me try that again <laughs> I should have thought about that and that's why that's why we do this so right here will get me some teal but you know what did I already use let me look through my cards because if I have a smaller scale of the hearts in that colorway that would be cooler. I think I may have already used it though, but we have options. As you can see, I am not short on supplies. Let's just dig in here. I do have another option. I could use this. This is smaller scale and would definitely pull in both the pink and the teal. And that's okay. I like that. I'm not mad about that. And I haven't used this card yet and I can just always re re reprint it. Um, okay, let me just make sure. Yep, it's a perfect width. We're just gonna, we're gonna do this again. Maybe on the back side of the, of the tape, I will use the hearts and I'll do the full so that a lot of the hearts show that that's probably what I'll do okay let's try this again and this time I'm going to try to make that nice curve since I was able to trace it out a little bit neater okay let's get these punched out
and then we'll switch it to 1 8 for these smaller ones. And it will be slightly bigger than what you've traced out, but it's perfectly fine. It is close enough. Okay. Okay, that layer looks good. I'm going to ditch this one. All right, so then we'll do... Okay, so I do like the idea of the teal at the top, so we'll do this one. Oops. And I will go up against the edge. It's a nice... I'll go up against both edges there. All right, let's get this guy cut out. Okay, so this is the top part, and then we want the bottom part is a little slimmer. So I want that to be would it be cool if they were both this grid? Or is that what looks better? trying to figure out my life over here okay we're losing templates my goodness oh my gosh okay I like the well, yeah but then I've got this pink background so that's a little too much pink I think I need to find a different pattern okay let's let's dig back into the pattern papers and try to find something else. Again, it kind of needs to be a small uh, scale. This has the teal and the pink, but too much blue, I think. I didn't really plan on this kind of project, so but I have these I have this, this is kind of small scale, but this is not going to touch, you know what, I'm going to try it the way that I was going to do it, unless, what if we just tried this one, it's really big, but it could it could stand out enough enough of the pattern could show so we're gonna try we're gonna try it and I'm gonna do it over here on this corner Since this has some hot pink in it, I'm wondering if I should do this lighter color. I feel like that's too much pattern. Actually, it's kind of not. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Turns out I kind of like it. But would it just be better if the whole thing was just teal. I think so. We're really rough. <laughs> Probably would have been ah, better if I um, just got my scissors in there, honestly. Okay good to go. I think we're, I think that's much better. Okay. Now let's get the tape roll glued in here. So I think I'm going to washi 
washi the back because we don't have much um, surface underneath to really glue. So this will work just fine. Just grab any washi. And I'm not going to be super particular about it because remember it's getting glued back here anyway. It's just to kind of secure it. Okay, let's get let's get some pieces secured here. And yes, I am using my template because I just didn't want to cut it out again, but that's okay. I have more. That did get a little crooked. That did get a little crooked. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah. It's okay. Not perfect. Okay, so the larger part needs to go at the top and ideally it would be even we're gonna make it work here okay and now there's this piece and I'm gonna just give it a little little help and this one gets attached or it lines up all the way at the bottom And it's not exactly centered, so let me pull it up just a little. I at least want it to try to appear center. Okay, that is super cute. And then you could take your little label and glue it down right there, which I think I'm gonna do now. it like that's it for making for making this how cute is that honestly and then from here you could stamp on it I haven't gone through any of my stamps or figured out if that's something that would be cute but like I think it would be if I I think I have like small numbers like I, I could do this two three I have like a teeny tiny numbers I think I'd have to find on one of my um, date date stamps these are cute too these are even smaller and and a little less fancy um, these are kind of just a regular sans serif so I think maybe I'll use those And then I think I'm going to go try to find one of my stamps that has my heart on it, but it's got to be a small one. So I think I have my, my stamps are like crazy all over the place. I am, I have too many. <laughs> I have too many and I'm having a hard time like deciding which ones to keep so I'm just keeping them all out on my desk at the moment where are where's the one I'm thinking of I think it's memory lane that has a small one I have like misplaced my own stamp oh it's right here but it is too big I did pass right by it Okay, it's too big, but that little, the little sparkles work. I like that. So let's do that. We're just going to use black. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use black soot in my Distress Oxide because it's not as um, crisp. It's kind of got like more of a dark gray charcoal kind of look to it. I, I like that better. So that's cute. Okay. 
and then sorry I may have been off frame there out of frame I get working and then I get so close to my project and let's do the sparkles oh that's gonna be a perfect fit Perfect. How cute is that? Now, if you don't like your handwriting, you could use a stamp for your title, but I'm going to use mine because it feels more authentic to like use, you know, your handwriting on a mixtape. Just a, a black pen and I'm gonna write um, the name of the playlist that I made is called let me probably put in pencil first just to make sure that I have enough room Okay, so I need to scooch in the right now and then I'll have enough room. Perfect. Then I'll just erase that here in just a couple couple seconds. Okay, so let me get this erased real quick. This one, this pen does a pretty good job of not smearing. Um, let's just see what it looks like in here. So, like if you were to have a tape case, right? You've got your like little sleeve. And it's just so cute. I mean, like if it were have full of things inside of here. Oh, I'm so excited to get this done. I love it so much. Let's see if I can get you guys a closer look. Is that not so cute? Oh my gosh. Kind of in love with this. I feel like I just want to make a bunch of these, but I feel like I want to um, get them cut out of my silhouette instead just because those circles are so janky. But now you can make your own little cassette tape. And I can't wait to see what you guys create and how you use this printable. Thanks so much for being here, Crafty Babes. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey, Crafty Babes, Andrea here. Hey, Crafty Babes, and